Of the men's 100 meters, Tanquenda Tracy cut away brilliantly. Earl Simmons trying to go with him. It's Tracy in front, chased all the way, but Tracy gets there first. Good run as well, coming from Earl Simmons out of lane number six. He has to set up a second position. 10 38 is the flash time for Tanquenda Tracy. Adjusted now to 10.41, it's negative 2.7 meters per second. Earl Simmons, the Vincentian, coming through in second at 10. Off they go for the second section of the men's 100 meters. They have been recalled. Long jump in progress. Men's event. Great start to the competition. Seven eight one for Emmanuel Archibald. Seven eight one for Sean D. Thompson. They shared the lead after round number one. David Tomlinson of GC Foster College with a PB seven point four zero. He's holding down third position. They are the only three competitors who've gone over seven meters so far. Second heat of the men's 100 meters is also on track. The athletes standing behind their blocks. Ebadilla Adam, Spring Tech, Maldives disqualified for a false start. No Chad Miller in lane number four. They go just the three going in this second section of the men's 100 meters. Ashingin Bailey, center of the track, tearing away now in the closing stages. 10.50 is the flash time for Bailey. So not as fast as 10.41 from Taekwondo Tracy in the first heat. 10.52 for Bailey, Shamin 10.86 and Wellington 11.27. Negative 1.2 meters per second. The wind speed much heavier than what we got in the first section as well, which was negative 2.7 meters per second. Third heat coming up in the men's 100 meters. Still no change in the top three for the men's long jump. Archibald and Thompson at 781. David Tomlinson at 7.40. Here's the lineup for the third heat of the men's 100 meters. Lane one will have Zachary Cox of Cornwall College. Lane two, Nicole White, Dynamic Speed Track Club. Lane three, Michael Campbell, MVP. Lane four, the Vincentian representing GC Foster College, Mackish Compton. Lane five, from Dynamic Speed Track Club, Justin Freiter. Lane six, from University of Technology, Odin Somerville. In seven, also from UTEC, Dominic Williams. And in lane number eight, Raymond Campbell. That's the lineup for the third heat in the men's 100 meters. No Raymond Campbell in lane number eight. Just saw the second round effort for Emmanuel Archibald in the long jump for men, 781 in round number one. 
7.94 in round number two. He takes the lead outright, positive 0.5 meters per second. The wind speed on that performance. And Emmanuel Archibald in charge of an exciting men's long jump competition. Now we await the response from Sean D. Thompson, who is in second at 7.81. Third heat of the men's 100 meters on track. The men's long jump competition really exciting 7.93 meters for Sean D. Thompson. He is one centimeter off the lead 794 set by the Guyanese Emmanuel Archibald. Negative 2.1 on that performance for Sean D. Thompson, so the wind not helping him at all, but he's in second position. Michael Campbell in lane number three, Mackish Compton in lane number four, Campbell got away well, Compton is also moving quickly, Campbell and Compton, these two away, Michael Campbell gets there first, 10.42 is the flash time for the 2017 World Championship representative. 10.42 the flash time for Michael Campbell. Adjusted to 10.46, so that's the second fastest we've seen so far. Taekwondo Tracy at 10.41, still the fastest. Positive 0, 0.0 meters per second, the wind speed. 10.46 for Campbell Compton, 10.62, the Vincentian representing GC Foster College, finishing in a second position. So that's heat number three of the men's 100 meters. Heat number four of 11 coming up. Long jump still very much in progress. 794 for Archibald, the Guyanese representing Swift Track Club. 793 for Sean D. Thompson of Sprintic and David Tomlinson, 7.40. He is in third position still. Hit four of the men's 100 meters coming up, lane one. Darren Perrett, the Turks and Caicos athlete representing GC Foster College. Lane two, Ramon Sewell of MVP, lane three. The Turkey representative competing for elite performance here, Emre Barnes. Lane four, Nishian Ebanks of MVP, lane five, Javoni Davis of Legacy. Lane 6, the giant Duffus of St. Jago. Lane 7, Jace Witter of GC Foster College. Lane 8, Clive Elson of UTEC. That's the lineup for Heat 4 of 11 in the men's 100 meters. Off they go. Barnes in lane number 3. Stepping well. Emre Barnes well clear of the field. 10.39 is the flash time. That's the fastest we've seen so far. Let's see if it is being adjusted. We got 10.41 from Taekwondo Tracy. Emre Barnes wants to be in the A final. 10.44, so that's the second fastest we've seen. Negative 0.5 meters per second is the wind speed 
for heat four of the men's 100 meters. Men's long jump still a hot one. The women's discus throw also in progress. Shade Lawrence of Reckless Control leads with 56.82 meters. Obiagiri Amiechi of Nigeria in second at 56.28 meters. Samantha Hall, the Jamaican in third at 54.59. Samantha Hall representing the MVP track club. So that's what's happening in the women's discus throw. As we get ready for heat five, of the men's 100 meters. Daniel Austin of UTEP goes in one. Jaheem Jones of Camperdown is in two. Shanir Cooper goes in three. Junior Harris of Swept Track Club is in lane number four. Javoy Tucker of Dynamic Speed Track Club is in five. And Javel Wright of UWI Mona goes in lane number six. Break up the stunt of heat number five for the men's 100 meters. Remember, the top eight will advance to the A final. Those finishing in positions 9 to 16 will contest the B final, and those positions 17 to 24 will contest the C final. Sean D. Thompson in the men's long jump gets the red flag. That looked beyond eight meters, but the flag is red as we get back to the 100 meters. Heat five on track. for a full start. Off they go for heat number five. Again, they've been recalled here. It's back to the men's long jump. We are in the third round of the competition. Still Archibald leading at 7.94. Sean Lee Thompson, 7.93. David Tomlinson, GC Foster College, 7.40. Savoni McLeod of GC Foster College, the only other competitor over 7 meters at 7.06. Yes, men's high jump also in progress. Raymond Richards has cleared third time at 2.15. He's the only competitor remaining in the competition. The only other competitor, Jeremy Hibbert, cleared 1.90 but failed to go clear at 2 meters. This is heat number five in the men's 100 meters. On the outside there, it is uh, right. Javel Wright of Udaloi Mona out in lane number six. Coming through to get the win, 10.65. 
is the flash time 1070 as that has been adjusted to negative 0.9 meters per second the wind speed doubt that will be good enough to get him into the a final 1072 for harris in second position and so these athletes are looking at the b and c finals for later on so that was heat number five of 11 in the men's 100 meters Discus woman not be led by Obia Geri Amiachi of Nigeria. They're in the fourth round of the competition, 57-29. The leading mark in the second round, Shadi Lawrence of Reckless Control in second at 56.82 meters with Samantha Hall of MVP in third at 54.59. And they have completed round number three, Obia Geri Amiachi of Nigeria with the lead 57.29 meters. The men's shot foot also in progress. Adin Richards, World Championship bronze medalist all the way back in 2015, leads with 18.11 meters. They're in the sixth and final round. Moses Parkinson of GC Foster College is in second with 17.01. And the junior, Shaquan Dunn of Jamaica College, completing unattached here today, 16.96. A personal best for him, he's in third position in the men's shot foot competition. Adane Richards leading the way there. Heat number six coming up in the men's 100 meters now. 5.34, this one scheduled for 5.36, we're bang on time. Here's the lineup. Lane number one, Ramaria Jimison of New Era. Lane two, Jalen Bennett, Sweat Track Club. Lane three, the Canadian, also representing Sweat Track Club, David Buckham. Lane four, Maria Williams of MVP. Lane number five, the fastest in the field and personal best, Michael Stevens of the Racers Track Club. Lane six, Mazina Barrett of UWI Mona. Lane number seven, the Guyanese representing Legacy Athletics, Ossa Blair. And in lane number eight, DeMarc Stevenson of St. George's College. That's the lineup for heat number six of the men's 100 meters. Heat number six wins 100 meters. Buckham, Williams, Stevens, Barrett, the four in the center, all going well here. They come to the line. That's a pretty good run out there in lane number five, it was. Lane number six, Messina Barrett coming through 10.60, negative 0 0.5 meters per second. The wind speed, Michael Stevens, 10.71. Finishing in second position, Romario Williams, 10.80 to cross the line in third. 10.86 for Buckham, who finishes in fourth position. So 10.60 still in with a shot, but no guarantee that it will be good enough to get into the A final. The competitors holding those A final qualifying positions. Taekwondo Tracy, 1041. Emra Barnes, 1044. Earl Simmons, 1046. Michael Campbell, 1046. Oshane Bailey and Rashid Foster, 1052. Mazina Barrett at 1060. In seventh position, Makish Compton at 1062. In eighth position, but we've only completed six of the 11 heats in the men's 100 meters. Heat number seven is coming up. Lane number one, Kevon Benjamin, completing unattached. Lane number two, the hurdler, Odaria Phillips of MVP. Lane number three, the Barbadian, representing racers, Corin Griffith. The man who is leading the long jump, Emmanuel Archibald of Swept, the guy knees is in four. Blaine Buckle of UWI Mona goes in five. A second Guyanese, he represents Racers Track Club, Shamar Horatio in lane six. Dermian Campbell of GC Foster goes in seven. 
and the Trimbaconian Kareem Solomon is in lane number eight. Archibald has been in very good form this season. He goes in lane number four. He's leading the long jump and he's leading this 100 race. Emmanuel Archibald stepping away from the field. That looked pretty good. That's by a distance. The fastest in qualifying 10.26. Well, that's quality running. He's run 10.13 this season. That's a personal best. Comes through here at 10.28. And he has a lot more to give, that's for sure. Negative 0.1 meters per second, the wind speed for Emmanuel Archibald. That will surely have him in the A final. 10.56 for Curran Griffith, the Barbadian. He is second. And uh, Horatio, the second Guyanese, finishing in third position. 10.59. For Horatio, but a big performance there for Emmanuel Archibald, and he'll return for the A final as one of the favorites for the win later on today. Let's go to the eighth heat of the men's 100 meters. Lane one will have Odin Tolo of Dynamic Speed Track Club, Lane two, McKinnon Woods. Jamaica College by way of Trinidad and Tobago. Lane 3, Wayne McPherson of Dynamic Speed. Lane 4, Mikolai Everett of Elite Performance. Lane 5, Aubrey Allen of Legacy. Lane 6, Ramon Barnswell, MVP. Lane 7, David Tomlinson. He's in the long jump as well in third position. GC Foster College. And lane number 8, Malik Paradise competing unattached. Ramon Barnswell in lane number six, the favorite for this one, and he's away well. Mikolai Everett is also going fast. Everett and Barnswell. Barnswell just ahead of Everett. 10.40. That's not a bad time. That will have him in a top eight position at this stage. 10.44. Negative 1.3 meters per second, the wind speed. Ramon Barnswell set to represent the nation at the pen relays. In another seven days, 10.52 for Everett. That's a pretty good run for the former JC man. He finishes in second position and is hanging on to a top eight position at this stage. But we still have a few more heats to come for the men's 100 meters. So much action going on here at Velocity Fest 15. Discus throw women still being led by Obiagiri Amiachi. 57.29, that came in the second round. Shade Lawrence of Reckless Control still in second at 56.82, and Samantha Hall in third at 54.59 meters. And the men's shot put competition finished now. The winner, Adrian Richards, 18.11 meters. Moses Parkinson, 17.01 in second. Shikwan Dunn in third at 16.96, a personal best for the junior, Josh Shai Brown, finishing in fourth from Jamaica College at 15.81 meters. Back to the 100 meters and to the ninth heat of the men's 100 meters. 
Lane 1, Kashim Green of MVP. Lane 2, Kishan Thomas, Motorcade. Lane 3, the informed Javari Thomas of Dynamic Speed. Lane 4, Nicole Drummond of Strap Track Club. Lane 5, Jordan Morgan of GC Foster College. Lane number 6, another informed competitor, Brian Level of Optimum Track Club. Lane number 7, Zanil Fern of MVP. And lane number 8, Gregor Williams of Dynamic Speed. Thomas in three, level in lane number six, level is up well. Thomas also going well, Brian Level, Javari Thomas, these two away from the rest, but Level gets there first, 10.32. That's his place booked in the A final for sure. Negative 1.7 as well, adjusted to 10.38. That's the second fastest we've seen in the qualifying races. Forty-nine for Javari Thomas in second position. Those two have a shot of being in the final eight level. Very much expected to be there. Ten forty-nine will be pretty close for Thomas. The wind didn't help them out in that heat. Negative one point seven. That was heat number nine of eleven. Heat number 10 is coming up now on track. Here's the lineup. Lane 1, Benjamin Perry of Striders. Lane 2, Ashawn Degree of Dynamic Speed. Lane 3, the Corrector Games on the 20 bronze medalist, Javorn Dunkley of Elite. Lane number 4, the Bohemian representing RK Athletics, Yurik Dean. And lane number 5, representing Dynamic Speed, Ashawn Smith. Lane 6, the Antiguan Darian Skerritt representing Titans. Lane 7, Clinton Simmons of Michael and Lane 8, Ajani Thomas of Camperdown. This is the penultimate heat 10 of 11, men's 100 meters. No Benjamin Perry in one, no Yurik Dean in lane number 4. Off they go for the 10th and penultimate section. They have been recalled. Let's get you up to date with what's happening in the men's long jump. We are in round number five. Archibald still leads with 7.94. Sean D. Thompson, 7.93 in second. David Tomlinson, 7.40 in third. Savonna McLeod of GZ Foster, 7.26. The only other competitor over seven meters. He's in fourth. in three, Smith in lane number five. That's the big two for this section of the 100 meters. Dunkley and Smith together. Dunkley now ahead of Ashani Smith. 10.33 for the corrector on the 20 bronze medalist. 
As Charlie Smith in second, 10.36, the time adjusted to Fadunkley, negative 0 0.8, 10.44 for Ashawnee Smith, 10.66 for the Antigua and Darien Skerritt in third. That was the penultimate heat of the men's 100 meters. The A final filling out nicely. Archibald 1028, level 1038. Well, make that Archibald 1028, Dunkley 1036, level 1038, Taekwondo Tracy 1041, Emra Barnes, Ramon Barneswell, Ashani Smith 1044, and Earl Simmons 1046. That's the leading eight at this stage. Michael Campbell also has a 1046, but he's outside the top eight. He is 0.456, Simmons is 0.455, all the information available on the roster athletics app, but we still have one heat to come in the men's 100 meters, and there are a couple men who should be in the top eight. Here's the lineup, lane number one, Demar Sales, MVP. Lane two, Giovanni White, Motorcade. Lane three, Jazeel Murphy, Dynamic Speed. Lane 4, Tevin Hyman, GC Foster College. Lane 5, Sandre Davison, Dynamic Speed. Lane number 6, Adane Crooks, New Era. Lane number 7, Devon Lysite of Pelicans. And in lane number 8, Sean Bryan of UTEC. It's the 11th and final heat in the men's 100 meters. 11.46 or better is what is needed to get into the top 8. Well, let's go with better than 10.46 to be in the A final later on. Seven point nine five for Manuel Archibald extends his lead in the men's long jump. We have a recall in the eleventh and final heat of the men's one hundred meters. So seven ninety four he did earlier before his. 1028 100 performance and Emmanuel Archibald the, the guy names returns with 7.95 to extend his lead by one centimeter Final heat of the men's 100 meters. No, no, no. They're back. Another recall. Long jump. Men. 7.95 meters. The leading mark. Emmanuel Archibald. Swept track club. Guyana. Sean Lee Thompson, 7.93. Sprint Tech, Jamaica, 
Third, David Tomlinson, 7.40, GC Foster College, Jamaica. Savoni McClown, 7.26, GC Foster College, Jamaica. Top four, men's long jump, they're in the sixth and final round. Final heat of the men's 100 meters. Odane Crooks, new era, has been disqualified for a false start. Another break at the start for the final heat. Men's 100 meters. Faster than 1046 is what is required to get into the top eight. There will be three finals A, B, and C. 1 to 8, 9 through 16, 17 through 24. If you're not in the top 24, you don't get a second run. Jaseel Murphy in lane number three, Davison in lane number five, also going well is Hyman, Davison steps forward now, Sandra Davison with the win, he's elite, he's dynamic, he's got speed, his name is Sandra Davison, 10.35 is the winning time, that will get him a spot in the A final, 10.41 for Murphy, he'll be in the A final as well, Hyman 10.76. Well, here we go. Emmanuel Archibald, 10.28, will be in the A final. Javorin Dunkley, 10.36, will be in the A final. Sandra Davison, 10.35, will be in the A final. Let's give you that eight. Emmanuel Archibald, 10.28. Sandra Davison, 10.35. Javorin Dunkley, 10.36. Brian Level, 10.38. Tyquenda Tracy 10.41, Jaseel Murphy 10.41, Emre Barnes 10.44 and taking the 8th and final spot in the A final, Ramon Barneswell 